the woman in the video I am about to show you seems to be asking an honest and sincere question. Is marriage only religion and only a religious institution? Okay, I need, I need the religious people uh, to weigh in on marriage because I was over on Twitter, right? And gay marriage got brought up. But then a whole bunch of people were saying, marriage is religion and it's a religious institution and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, well, like, I'm not religious and what, what, what about that? And several religious people told me that marriage is only a religious in institution and all of those who are not religious shouldn't be calling our marriages marriage we should call it something different and like i've never heard i've never heard this so it's just like blowing my mind and i need to know if these are like fringe people or if this is actually like a commonly held belief so there you have it marriage to answer the question as far as anyone and everyone can tell has been around since recorded history according to this article in wikipedia and i'll put the link below it is nearly a cultural universal, which would give me a starting hypothesis that marriage is not only religion and not only a religious institution. It can be a tribal practice, a civil exercise, or a religious recognition. In a book called The Future of Marriage in Western Civilization, Edvard Westermark defined marriage as a relation of one or more men to one or more women that is recognized by custom or law. Again, this philosopher and sociologist didn't view its source or limitation to religious contexts. Westermark's definition has been adjusted by others who have found cultures that recognized things like polyandry or a marriage form that didn't include the male in the marriage, but who was used only for procreation and so many other variations. But the issue is that none of them were dependent on religious institutions, either for their definition or for their existence. Article 16 of the Declaration of Human Rights, published by the United Nations, gives a definition of marriage that also has no connection to religion or religious institutions. It's both fair and accurate to say that the answer to the woman's question is no, marriage is not only religion, and it is not only a religious institution. Let's go back to the days of the Bible. The cultures surrounding the narrative of Abraham in the ancient Near East have a variety of marriage forms, including polyandry, matriarchy, which is a woman-dominant relationship, bina marriage, which is where the husband lives in the woman's village and are members of her tribe, and mot'a marriage, which is a temporary relationship. None of these are religion-only expressions. Uh, we see a variety of marriage practices in the Old Testament, including marriage to family members that are rather close, like half-sisters or cousins. We see polygamy, we see monogamy, and we see leveret marriage. Now, these practices were not initially commanded in the Old Testament, but were just common practices in all the cultures of the time. Leveret marriage came into the biblical law in Deuteronomy 25. In post-exilic times, which are, say, the last four or five centuries before Christ, the majority practice of marriage was monogamy, but that was not by biblical command, however, but because more cultures were choosing monogamy as a superior model for societal stability. Christianity then puts its own theological template onto the institution of marriage. The New Testament teaches virginity until marriage and monogamy is the model marriage. The New Testament doesn't disdain singlehood though, but it does disdain sexual immorality meaning sex with anyone whom you're not married to. So the bottom line is this, it's, it's ridiculous to claim that marriage is only a religious thing. There's the answer to your question.